up welcome back to my channel if you guys clicked on this video when you're watching this right now we will officially have Stella which is insane I'm so excited so I figured that our like bringing home Stella vlog I figured it would be best to include our puppy essential haul in the vlog that we're getting Stella just so you guys can see everything I don't know if you guys are clicking on this because you're getting a dog maybe you get some ideas for some things but I just really want to include everything we got also, I'm really sorry my hair is wet. I just got out of the shower, but I'm just so excited to film this video right now. Oh my freaking God. So I figured I'd go through everything that we got for her just in case you're interested. I'm really, really excited because Wolf Concept sent us some goodies for Stella and I'm so excited to talk about them super, super quick with you guys. Amazing Canadian dog wear brand. I was so intrigued and like drawn to their products because I find some like dog collars and harnesses like boring colors and we just wanted something fun for Stella and so I was super drawn to the patterns they have on their website and what I loved even more is that they give back um, so a portion of every purchase goes towards um, animal rescue organizations fundraisers for adopting dogs which we love so much they sent me a bunch of things I'm going to show you guys I'll leave their links down below for you guys to check out once again thank you guys so much for sending me these goodies so appreciated and I cannot wait to see what Stella looks like in them so just want to give you guys that little so stinking cute you guys can we just like talk about this pattern like tell me that's not so cute so they sent me the collar harness and leash as well as a matching bandana and i love that they have matching sets i don't know what it is but even with the dog i want to have like matching stuff um so this is the bandana this is the prism 2 pattern i like i said i will link everything down below for you guys if you're interested so they sent us a little bandana and the thing that we're struggling with the most is that when you buy a small dog, they'll probably go from like extra small to small. Whereas Stella, because she's a lab Rottweiler, she's gonna go from literally like a small, medium, large size stuff. So we're trying to not buy a lot of like forever stuff right now. We will definitely have to get larges and everything again. So happy to repurchase from Wolf Concept, but we're gonna go through a lot of stuff. This, like I said, is the Prism 2 print. We love it so much. It's so beautiful, oh my God. So they sent us the collar love it and then they also sent us a harness we are big harness people i've just done my research i've grown up with dogs and i think harnesses are important for dogs so we got this cute little harness um i just love everything about it it's very cute but also simple um this is what it looks like it's a step in harness and the medium fits a 16 inch to 24 inch so made in canada we love that and of course they sent me the leash which we love so so much it's just so pretty and you can just tell the quality is really great also really love this about the leash is it has like one of those like little fasteners so you can like lock it which we love so much so thank you guys once again for sending us those goodies i'm so excited to see what stella looks like in them tomorrow i think i'm gonna bring the collar tomorrow and see if she fits in it but we'll have to see next this is okay i'm just going in random order because we just have buckets of stuff so sweet so a subscriber of mine started a dog tree company which i think is so cute i will put her instagram down below for you guys to check out but cider's apple treats homemade dog treats so she sent us two bags of dog treats with think which i think is the sweetest thing ever so in the ottawa area definitely check her out but look how cute they are and then she also puts the ingredients on the back which we love so thank you so much for dropping those off that was so sweet i can't wait to give all of them on the tree train we just have a ton of training treats got some pee pads we're not pee pad training her but it's so important the first few weeks to have pee pads and um we'll have the playpen set up with pee pads in case she has an accident so got pee pads we have a chuck it matt's like dream has always been to have a big dog and have a chuck it so i got him a chuck it for his birthday um got a dog grooming glove we were dog sitting our friends so there's golden retriever hair on this um, okay, we saw this like all over the Instagram ad, so we gave in and bought it. It's called a Chomp Chomp, I think. It's supposed to take the hair off of the couch, so we'll see, but apparently there's great reviews on it. I just picked up a doggy toothbrush when we were at Walmart because we want to get her used to it. Um, more treats, treats galore. Um, doggy poop bags. Then um, one of the girls we work with was super sweet, and she gave us two little collars, which is the cutest thing in the freaking world. I gotta move, this is gonna bother me. She gave us two collars, so she gave us this cute little one. I don't know how long it's going to fit her, but it's so nice to have options. And then this one, which this is the one that our name tag is on, but I think we're going to bring the other one tomorrow because I want to see what she looks like in it. But it's just this super cute, like, animal print. So cute. And guys. Okay, if you guys don't know, Stella is named after the Latin term Stellaris, which means among the stars. Stars. If you don't know, Matt is a huge, like, NASA nerd. He loves space. He's gotten me somewhat into space. Coincidental that we get Stella tomorrow when Bob and Doug come back and splash down. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. 
anyways long story short so we got her this super cute name tag from an etsy shop it's ontario based and i don't know if it'll let us focus on it but it just says stella and it has a bunch of stars on it and i think it's the cutest thing in the freaking world so cute um and then um we got one of these for the car just because she's gonna come with us a lot of places like to the cottage and stuff um definitely check out your marshals and stuff for this kind of stuff because it was 19.99 and on amazon they're like 50 so it's just one of the like hammock style car seats um so we'll put that in the car tomorrow All right, we're gonna see how she likes it but if she's good in the car i'll end up getting one for my car too but not least toys if you're not new to my channel you probably saw this in my farmer's market vlog but if you're new i'm a big disney nerd um i'm an annual pass holder at walt disney world i love it so much i'd be there right now if the border wasn't closed and florida wasn't a hot spot Haunted Mansion is my favorite ride, okay? Favorite ride. And it's so weird because I live in Ottawa, so like it's not like there's a lot of Disney here. Um, but this lady at the farmer's market was selling Disney dog stuff, and so we got her a Haunted Mansion collar. This is a large, so it'll definitely be when she's full size, but thought that was so cute, and I love supporting local. Highly recommend you go check out your farmer's markets or anything local because it's just so much cheaper. And then I also got her this bandana. I couldn't. It's reversible, and it's just like a little Mickey Mouse one. So, toys. We got this bin at Marshall's. I think it's a ball just fell out. Um, so cute. The reader said that she loves her Kong and balls, so we went and picked up some balls the other day at Walmart. We have a Frisbee. I don't know if she's gonna like it, but whatever. Um, I got her this. This is a really cool dog toy. Obviously got her a little rose. She's gonna take after her mom. But it actually has an empty water bottle in it. Um, so it sprinkles and it has a squeaker. Um, Matt got her this because we think she's gonna be a very smart dog and you should like mentally train your dog So we're gonna get her some like puzzle like toys to make her really think so this is like a little golf gopher thing We got this on Amazon and you just have to like take them out and then put them back in the hole and whatnot So just like a little mind thinking game for her um, We got her this monkey <laughs> at the beginning. We kind of went like a little crazy with dog toys, but we got her this monkey um I obviously got this on Amazon. It's a Mickey and Minnie like little rope toy. The thing with her being a big dog is we just don't know what kind of toy she's gonna like, so we kind of got her a bit of everything, and then at least we'll figure out what she likes, what she doesn't like. Um, we got a clicker, because we're gonna do clicker training. We got her this, which is a floatable toy for when we're at the cottage, because we want to get her used to the water when she's like fully vaccinated and stuff, obviously, and has her like deworming and stuff. But we just got her one of these, it's like a floating toy. And then the last thing I got her was a another one of those like kind of smart toys. You put a treats in it and then they have to like kind of roll and get it out. But there's like a little hole there for toys. So that's kind of everything that I can show you guys sitting down. And now I'll just show you guys everything that's kind of like around the house. We picked up this cute little um, dog tree container to leave on the counter. Um, it's from Marshalls, I believe. Yeah, Home Sense, which is Canadian Marshalls. Got that, and then Home Sense as well. It says pet food. We're definitely gonna need to get a bigger one because obviously she's a lab. She's gonna go through so much food, but for now, we just got this until we can get something bigger from Ikea or something. Um, so it's pretty cute. Looks like that. We just have her pet food in there with a little um, measuring cup set that I got at the dollar store. Reader um gives her and we're going to talk to the vet about it and then if the vet doesn't like it we'll switch it but for now we're going to keep her on that because you're not supposed to change a puppy's food drastically so that's just that the literal whole mini bag fits in there so that's our little pet food container guys and then we just have this little combo which you guys probably saw in a vlog but it's just the bowls we got her um like i said i think we're gonna get her nicer ones down the line i really would like a little like wooden uh, the holders i guess um from marshall's but for now we just got her these they're really from the dollar store it, like who cares she's not gonna know um so they're just cute little purple bowls and then this is just a microfiber drying mat from the dollar store like i said eventually we'll get a nicer one but for now we just got this because we're not sure if she's gonna need a slow feeding bowl or not so we didn't want to buy like a nice fancy set if she wasn't gonna use it so that's the dog food eating situation the crate we got her um originally we had a smaller one in there and then we were just gonna upgrade this one at some point but we figured it would just be better to like do it now um so this is from amazon it has the divider in it because you know you're supposed to not give them their whole living space so it has a divider i can link it down below if you guys are interested and then my mom recommended we just go to like a thrift store and pick up a bunch of towels in case she like pees to wipe her paws and stuff so i think we got each of these for like 99 cents or something um and then some extra like tea towels we found around the house to clean her paws um so that's kind of like what her crate looks like it has the two entrances so it has the entrance here and then it has one there and then this is just a playpen um 
Zach George recommended the first few nights. Um, I think we're probably going to sleep on the couch because we have like a pullout couch. Um, but he recommended to leave the crate door open and to have a playpen around it. Um, that way they go into the crate kind of when they're starting to feel comfortable with it. So we picked up a playpen. We figured it would be good to have two when we go to my parents' house because they have a few acres of land. And also when we go to the cottage because she's still going to be young. So we just have that. And I'll show you guys that in another video when it's like all put together and stuff. Probably the vlog of the first day we get her. So make sure you guys are subscribed to see that. So happy with this. I actually got this off of a local um, person in Ottawa. I'll link her Facebook and her like everything down below her website and stuff. So, so cute. I think it's so cute. We just have that on there with some command strip. A dog bed. She's not going to sleep in our room. She's going to be crate trained, but we got this off the Facebook marketplace. Costco dog bed. Um, it's in really, really great quality. We got it for like $20 and they go for like 60 here in Canada. So we just kind of to pick it up. She's going to sleep with us when she's fully trained. Maybe we'll see, but that's kind of like the last doggy purchase we have to show you guys. Hi guys, it is the next day. It is the day we get Stella. It is totally 4.25. I'm just wearing my NASA shirt because Bob and Doug just splashed down and we watched that today. It's a super rainy day here in Ottawa, which is like so blah, but it's okay because we're getting our puppy. I'm like putting together what we're gonna bring with us. I figured I'd show you guys. And then we're gonna head out around, we have to leave around six because it's an hour and a half drive. So we have about an hour and a half before we have to leave and get eight and we're gonna grab some dinner and then head to get Stella. I really forgot to show you guys yesterday, but we got a baby gate on Amazon um, for her. And it just kind of like, it's awesome because if you guys look at auto locks, um, so I forgot to show you guys that yesterday. We have that, we've kind of sort of set the playpen up, not really. And then in terms of stuff that we're bringing, it's only an hour and a half drive, so I have, just some treats in a bag. I have a blanket. I have a towel. I have um, the Wolf Concept leash and then her collar. And then I put the name tag on the collar. And then I have a few toys. Um, I have some poop bag rolls. I need to get one of the roll things that goes on your leash. Got a little rope toy we're bringing and then we're bringing the monkey with her. So that's kind of everything that's coming with us. So I'm gonna pack that up and then we're slowly gonna start getting ready. Hi guys, okay currently 7 p.m. As you can tell, we're still at home. We're about to get ready soon to leave. We were getting ready to leave and then she texted us saying she was going to be an hour and a half late. So we're just at home chilling. There's a lot that's happened. Um, I don't really want to get into it yet until we get Stella and then maybe I'll do a story time. But we just have not had the greatest experience, honestly. Um, plans have changed 600 times. Matt and I have gotten different days off work 600 times. The week we get her has changed. The day we get her changed, the location's changed. It's either in our city or driving six and a half hours away. Like it's, everything's just changed a thousand times. So it's been just very stressful, but it's fine because it'll all be worth it tonight. We're pretty bummed that we didn't get her earlier in the day like we'd planned to so that we'd have some time to spend with her because we're not gonna get home till 10.30 p.m. now, but it's all gonna be worth it. And we figured we'd just rather drive it tonight, get it over with, and have her home. So I don't know how much actual content I'm gonna get in the car and stuff of her coming home because it's gonna be dark out. Um, but maybe I'll get some clips when we get home. I don't know, we'll see. And if not, but we're getting ready to head out around 7.15. It's an hour and a half drive. It's actually where my family's cottage is. So it's a nice drive. It's been pouring here all day. There was a tornado warning. It's just been a hot mess of a day, honestly. But it's clearing up now, which is nice. So maybe we'll see a nice sunset at least and I'll be able to get some clips in the car. But I just want to update you guys that, yes, so you're not gonna hear it at 9 p.m. So I'm a little bummed because I do have to work tomorrow morning. It's a holiday here in Canada and I do have to go into work from six to 12. But that's okay, because she's gonna sleep a lot anyways, but. That's my little update and I wanted to update you guys and we are leaving to get her soon. It doesn't feel real. I keep saying to Matt, it kind of feels like you're going on a trip and it doesn't hit you until you get to the airport. Like it just doesn't hit us that we're going to get our dog. As much footage as possible bringing her home. But I'm so sorry if you guys clicked on this video and literally all you care about is a puppy because I feel like there's not going to be that much actual puppy content. But I our, our best, okay? <laughs>
He smells like puppy. Mm -hmm. He's a tiny girl. Where is he? Go get him. Go get him. Oh, hi, pretty girl. <laughs> come here, come get it. Oh, you do you like your monkey. <laughs> She's getting a second burst of energy. It's 11.30. Hey guys, it's the next day. It's currently eight. I'm at work right now. I have a triple shot Americano because I'm so tired, but I wanted to end the vlog, let you know how her first night was. So, wow, I'm so tired. So we ended up going to bed at midnight and she was super good. We only had to let her out once at 2 a.m. She was a freaking rock star, you guys. I know she's gonna be a smart dog. But yes, we only had to let her out once and then she slept all through the rest of the night. I'm pretty sure Matt didn't take her out again. So that was a pretty good first night. We were expecting to be way worse. She didn't whine at all. She was so pooped because she didn't sleep on the drive home. Um, but she loved exploring the house. It was so cute. I got a few clips. I definitely didn't get too, too much. But she like settled in really quick and she ran right to the crate. Like she loved her crate. So um, I'm super excited. Make sure that you guys are subscribed to see more puppy vlogs because I have so many coming, but I just wanted to get this up for you guys. Um, but yeah, overall she had a really good first night. See how she is today. I text so excited to leave work already and go spend time with her. I have excited, but I wanted to kind of fill you guys in on how her first night went. Um, but she was so, so good. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already. Stick around for the puppy vlogs and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.